The Changing Views of Manchester. Manchester Development Corp supports intelligent development of our city through investment and economic development initiatives. MDC enables projects to take place that may not otherwise happen. At its core, Manchester Development Corporation is a funding vehicle providing GAAP or non-traditional financing options to private developments as well as public-private ventures. Our partners are banks, real estate developers, other economic development organizations, and of course, business owners. Through our partners and our initiatives, we are changing the views of Manchester. The Manchester Development Corporation, MDC, is a 501c4 nonprofit development corporation. Staff support is provided by the Manchester Economic Development Office. The activities of NBC extend beyond direct investment in economic projects. We are responsible for funding many city studies to help Manchester plan for the next 10, 20, and many more years. Our actions today will protect and benefit Manchester for decades. MDC invests in the city's revolving loan fund, acquires land for future development, and supports the city's marketing initiatives to attract new business and industry. There are many successful projects that have been completed in part to MDC's contribution. Now we are going to explore some of those great projects. Among its first major projects, MDC facilitated a $5.5 million federal urban development grant to support development of the Wall Street Towers in 1986. 23 years later, during the economic downturn, MDC and the city were able to negotiate a refinancing agreement which allowed the building to make a $4.5 million improvement and continue to contribute a significant annual revenue to the city's residential tax base. The investments are extremely noticeable in the landscape of Manchester. Uh, the MDC's role in facilitating uh, the Verizon Wireless Arena was, was key. In essence, the MDC acted as a developer, and at each stage of progress in the development of the arena, we were able to bring to the Alderman um, different proposals that they could then step back on and review and judge whether we should go forward or not. Um, it was a significant project, and the elected officials needed to have that ability to step away and judge uh, the actions of the developer. In essence, the MDC acted as a developer, and at each stage of progress in the development of the arena, we were able to bring to the Alderman um, different proposals that they could then step back on and review and judge whether we should go forward or not. So in, in, that, system, uh, in that situation, we were able to act uh, or give the Alderman the opportunity to act as an arm's length um, critic of the project so that when we went forward we were, we were taking all the correct steps. We have a board that has always been made up of uh, significant people in the business and uh, uh, political community and their analysis uh, of a situation and their commitment to move forward has always been key. Well the relocation of the university system from Hackett Hill to downtown Manchester was done with a purpose in mind. And uh, we made a deal with the university system because what I wanted to do was to create uh, 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 the critical mass that we needed in the mill yard. And once we did that and made the deal with the university, things began to take off. And once it was done and, and things began to take off in the mill yard, that was a huge plus. Because looking at the mill yard now with it being totally revitalized and and how the buildings and, and all of the hubbub that is taking place in that area, it's a wonderful thing. And uh, people now look at our city and say, this is really a city. The chase block was my first nightmare. Um, the condition of the property is it was just about to be condemned. The um, city had taken the property back for back taxes. The, the property had been the subject of a number of fires. It had been vacated. The city of Manchester had gone out to um, RFP a couple of times to get a developer aboard. Most of them came in and said that the building should be torn down and made into a parking lot. GC's buildings were built solid at the time. There's no reason we can't bring this back. We needed to save a, a significant artifact of Manchester. The State Theater across the street had already been torn down. The train station had already been torn down. So we figured there was a, a good synergy here between bringing back the building so that it could be utilized in our modern times but saving the historically significant exterior of the building. Um, so it was a very complicated process, but the most complicated part of the process was the financing. So without MDC, I don't think this project would have gone forth because we were just that much short 
and we had no other sources to go to and MDC stepped in and you can see the success of the building since that time. I think that MDC plays a, a special role in the development community because they're the, they're the sort of lender of last resort that comes in and saves the day. They're the lone ranger for, for the city of Manchester in economic development. What happens is it makes projects that could be and just need a little bit more help become the reality. When I became mayor of Manchester, um, I remember coming out and walking downtown and there was no one downtown. Uh, simultaneously that I started visiting local businesses and uh, one of the first businesses I went to meet, um, they said to me, uh, we're trying to attract young people to the city and there's no place for them to live and a lot of them want to live downtown because they don't want to be stuck with driving their cars and, and just have the, the freedom to wander around the city, uh, go to the, the restaurants uh, hopefully that we were planning to open up and uh, create a nightlife downtown. And then we had Bridge and Elm sitting vacant for all those years and uh, it was very frustrating and I remember being at uh, some of the meetings with the Board of Mayor and Alderman. There were proposals all the way from building a gas station there to doing some things that were just not uh, relevant to what the city's vision was at the time. Well, fortunately we started uh, talking to a number of different people that uh, were talking about housing downtown, which was a priority of my administration, and we put the pieces together and today that uh, property is fully occupied and, and, and is a vital part of what's happening in downtown right now. Well, the Jack Pack uh, property became available when uh, Jack Pack went out of business and uh, it was a very sad day for the city because I think there were about 500 people working in that uh, place. So the city had a, a choice there, either let uh, the owners of it um, sell it uh, to the private sector and anything could have happened there. Um, I made a decision along with the Economic Development Office and working with the MDC and others involved that it was in the city's best interest to control the destiny of that parcel of land. The loan I received from uh, the City Hall, it was the key of my business. I will never be able to make it through, you know, that make this dream happen if it not was for the loan. It was definitely the key of this restaurant. Absolutely, it's the best thing that Manchester can offer to people who have a vision and they want to make it happen, absolutely. Benefit Strategies is an employee benefit administration firm that I founded 23 years ago and have been operating in the Bedford, Manchester area for that length of time and more recently having moved to Manchester we've expanded. We decided to move to downtown Manchester to take advantage of the quality of life. MDC assistance in renovating the Dunlap building in 2002 was vital. I had a building that had no rental income. I went to banks and the banks said they could not support me. MDC and I had aligned goals, downtown investment and the development of jobs. We again expanded our relationship with MDC with the support of Jay Mankura at the Economic Development Office and the Ted Gatsis team. And we took a building, 971 Elm Street, that was a single story, not an attractive building. We tore that down and we built a beautiful four-story building in its place. I think the MDC is a vital part of the economic development here in Manchester. It's one thing to talk to prospective uh, businesses to come to Manchester about the quality of life, the services available downtown. It's quite another to be able to say, and we're ready and helpful to make an investment for the right partners.